We're here at Emo Night. We're gonna learn how to get a goth GF because I need a goth mommy GF. So uh, first step, I had to look the part. Here we are, peep the fit, peep the fit. And uh, let's get into it. Do you have a Tinder? Maybe, yeah, <laughs> I do. do. Do guys ever hit you up being like, oh, I'm trying to get a goth girlfriend? Every day. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, what, what do they, like, always miss? Like, what are they missing in terms of, like, being, like, good, uh, what do you say, like, contestant? They look at it as, like, I'm just this, um, just something they can add to the tally, fetishizing me, so, yeah, but it happens. So, so how do I get a goth girl? Because I'm down bad. I'm all, and I'm also, uh, and I have no, no bitches. It's a real problem. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. Um, I, it's not funny. Why are you laughing at me? I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm laughing because it's, I don't know. Um, she doesn't even know. Uh, how to get one? I mean, just kind of ask us about herself, I guess. Don't, like, look at us as, like, we're just another fetish type thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, Agreed. we have, you know, likes and dislikes. Yeah, and be respectful. Yeah, exactly. Swag versus class. Class, all the time. You gotta have, what's the word, standards. You gotta, yeah, gotta have standards. I, I actually don't have any standards. Do a lot of guys hit you up? They're, still like, they're like saying, hey, I, I want a goth girlfriend. Yes, all the time. <laughs> I had like five guys come up to me today basically saying that shit. What did they do wrong? What did they do wrong? <laughs> Make weird ass noises and just sniff around me. <laughs> <laughs> they're sniffing you? The way they breathe, they're just so weird and creepy. What, what, what like, weird-ass noises do they make? Is it, like, a grunt? Is it, like, a cackle? It's, like, a grunt. Like, you know, when you, like, orgasm type of shit? It's like that. <laughs> <coughs> a little bit more, mm, you know. <coughs> <coughs> just like that. Okay, so if you're trying to if you're trying to find a goth girlfriend, like like what are you supposed to do? Don't be creepy for one. I don't know, just be nice. Be like, hey, I like your fucking style. That's just cool. Don't fucking breathe at me, and they just keep staring at me. I don't like eye contact constantly. So. Okay. <laughs> Creepy eye contact. Let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> so, so in my case, we can do the no, eye contact. No, we can do eye yeah. contact. Yeah, that's a good eye contact. Is this your boyfriend? No, it's my friend. Okay. <laughs> you just slam puss every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> just every once in a blue moon. All right, so I matched with you on Tinder. So what did I do wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just lazy, and I stopped responding. I still think you're cute, though. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, hey, this is like our first date. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. First date. Yeah, look, we're dating now. Uh that's how you get a goth girlfriend. Right there. So like, do a lot of guys just like try to come up to you and be like, hey, you're, you're like, like a goth, yeah, can I get, be yeah. like, what did they do wrong? They're douches, douchebags, and they're, you know. And, and most of them are really ugly and don't have okay. any self-confidence. Okay. But I'm cute though, right? Yeah, you're cute. So, so what exactly did I do right? Be yourself. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you called me cute. That's right, I did. And you have pretty cute. long hair. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this love? I is think this we what are love in love. Looks like? Is this what love looks like, guys? I think we are in love. I think we are too. Love your Monster uh, High t-shirt. Were you ever a fan of Monster High? I was a huge fan of Monster High, actually. Well, so who do you have to say for people who like hate on Monster High? If you hate on Monster High, then you're just you're not one of the girls, and that's okay. I, am I a girl who gets it? You're a girl who gets it, for sure. <laughs> you said you said he had music? Yes, I do have music. Is it mid? Yeah. <laughs> um, my, my friend actually also writes music, which is the crazy part. Um, he actually was writing something earlier, and he wanted to see if he could like play it for you. It's just like a lyric. It's like like a few seconds. Can you he, can he do that for you? Yeah. So th this is a song that I wrote. I had a dream last night. We drove out to see Las Vegas. We lost ourselves in the bright lights. I wish you could have seen it. Did you like it? That was beautiful. So Thank you. Yeah, I like it. it was really good. Thank you. Why, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> she's laughing at me. You didn't even tell me your friend was mean. I'm so sorry. I didn't know she was going to act up tonight. I'm always acting up, Caroline. You know better than that. <laughs> Straight edge brother. Dude, straight edge for life, man. Yeah, yes, Actually, sir. Cigarettes. Always have, always will. Beat people up for vaping, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. H have you now or have you ever had a goth girlfriend? Yeah, kind of, I guess. Alt? 
Yeah, all oh, definitely in that uh, they have issues, kind of. Definitely have met them at hardcore shows before, I'm sure, yeah. So step one, you go to a hardcore show to get an alt girl. Step two, what do you do? Be normal, like just treat everybody like they're a human being. I don't like fetishize them as being an alt girl. All right, cool. What's, what's the most emo thing you've ever done in your life? Probably cried over an ex-girlfriend listening to Weezer's Pinkerton album on repeat and pretending I was tortured like Rivers Kuma was. And I definitely was not, and I dated the girl for like two months, and I definitely just should have just moved on. That's so true. You know, I actually have a similar story. Okay. About two weeks ago, uh, I met a goth girl on Tinder. Yeah. Okay. And, and I've never met her in real life, but that night when we matched, I, I FaceTimed her for five hours straight, and we both cried on the call. And uh, now she won't uh, talk to me anymore, and I'm still in love with her. I'm going to be honest, that sounds like the most Sigma Chad thing I've ever heard. D do you think Andrew Tate like, is good at getting goth girls? Um, I think deep down he actually that's his biggest problem is he's never dated a goth girl But he's just not out there just hanging out with all the alt people that uh, listen to good music If Andrew Tate were to go to like any post hardcore emo hardcore show ever like like what what would you think he would be a fan of? He might like escape the fate because I think he might sympathize with Ronnie Radke They both seem to have issues with women. They're both Sigma males too. Yeah, it, so honestly he's ahead of Ronnie Radke So yeah, well he definitely makes more money than him. Oh, he definitely what yeah. color is Ronnie Radke's Bugatti? Does Ronnie Radke have a Bugatti? He does not, and that's the point. I think Andrew Tate would be a really big fan of Blood on the Dance Floor. He probably gets a lot of inspiration from them. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Just, I, just like personally. I actually think that Andrew Tate might cry if he ever listened to My Bloody Valentine. Just one time. Or maybe I, get him on the Smiths. Nah, I don't want to say there's problematic dudes that listen to the Smiths. A lot of people listen to the Smiths. But I, I, I'm problematic. I, I am a, a self-admitted male manipulator, and I do listen to the Smiths, so. Girl boss, gaslight, gatekeep. Man, I don't know if I feel like the same about gatekeeping, but... Should we gatekeep Andrew Tate from pop punk? Nah, man, maybe that'll make him better. You know, everybody keeps crying about how, like, we need to keep calling him out and people just keep screaming at him, which is just fueling him. Maybe just, like, be happy and invite him to a fucking pop punk and post-hardcore show and see if you can just change him. Honestly, he might just start crying and then just, like, date a girl who just bosses him around and then he's, uh, we've actually solved the problem of Andrew Tate for the rest of the world. That's actually genius. <laughs> All right, so what's like the most emo thing you've ever done in your life? Probably, oh, I writ every lyric to Carnifinalia in the men's hospital on the wall. <laughs> nice. What's like the cringiest emo thing you ever did in like middle probably school or high that. school? Um, probably exists. I was the most cringiest motherfucker. Oh my god. Do you have a goth girlfriend? I got multiple in my DMs, but I don't answer them. I don't answer. Them. So, like, how do you get a goth girlfriend? You look like this. Yeah. <laughs> So we're here with, uh, my name is Jason Castle. You were there, you were talking to me about uh, mushrooms. What are your thoughts on that? I love them more than my parents, honestly. Like, honestly, if I had a choice to do anything for the rest of my life, let me stare at my ceiling fan on mushrooms. I'm actually trying to break into, like, pop punk. Part of, this is just a little bit of my first song. <clears throat> I'm so down bad, I need a bad bitch. That's my, that reminds me of a friend, Kyle. Very reminiscent of uh, May Day Parade. There's a lot of dudes out there who are also down bad. I wrote a song for you. Do you want to hear it? Okay. Like, look at us as like we're just another fetish. Don't like fetishize them as being an alt girl. Yes. Most of them are really ugly and don't have okay. any self confidence. Okay. Don't fucking breathe at me. Self admit male manipulator. Did it work? Yeah. Neopunk FM.